Hey there. Welcome back to the 145. I'm Marshall Steck. I've just bought a new guitar all the way from Anderton's. So um, let's get cracking and open this bad boy. It's been a while. So uh, a little bit of saving needed, as I don't get given this stuff. Another unboxing. I've got this one in the January sales. Probably not the best thing to be cutting open a box. But I couldn't find my standing off, so cheers all is it. Ooh, yeah. Invoice. Dun dun dun. You'll probably get from the uh, the title anyway, but it's my first ever Sterling by Music Man. Yes, I tried this out in the store, not Anderton's. Uh, I went to PMT in Birmingham, and this was unbelievable. So let's have a look. Anything else in the box? Lots of packaging. No. Don't seem like Anderton's want you to rot your teeth, so they ain't giving you no sweets or anything. Oh, let's check this out. Check, check this out. Yeah, it's been a while from posting videos just because of home life, work, general commitments. I only do these videos as a little hobby, like as a little fun thing just for myself, really. So um, I've got no real obligation to make tons of videos all the time but I do like doing it so hmm. nice got ourselves a gig bag anything else in that box no nice to see that it's boxed twice though with all these delivery companies flinging them boxes around and all that so have a little front pocket it's funny i ordered this guitar on friday the 13th Ugh. and showed up on saturday the 14th result uh, so I might have to like paint a little 13 or a um a Jason mask on the on the front just to commemorize it. Woo! This 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 bag is really well nicely padded. It's like it's so soft inside. And this guitar is so sick. Yeah, boy. It's not new. It's been out for quite a while. A couple of years, I think. But wow. Wow. What a sick guitar. Like I say, I got it in the January sale, so I got a bit of money knocked off of it. And it's so worth it from what I played in the store. 
Sheesh. Wow. Ernie Ball by Music Man. Sterling by Music Man. It's the Cutlass. It's the, the Jason Richardson. I've got some um, stats here. So Jason Richardson, he's a sick, sick guitarist. You just got to Google him and it'll come up with all his videos and everything and even playing this. Wow. It's a, it's a six string version because I don't really know how to play seven string. I'm hoping it comes with the tremolo arm. It must be in that little pocket. I'll have a look. But it's really light. The neck is the nicest feeling neck I've ever felt. It really is. I went into Guitar Guitar in uh, Birmingham and tried out, um, which on paper was my dream guitar. And it was um, the Jackson uh, Made in Japan Misha Monso SoCal. Like, I just, I just wanted that guitar. As soon as I saw it on the YouTube videos, as soon as I heard about it, I'm not the biggest Misha Monso fan, but the fact that it looked so much like a Strat and it had that Ragnarok in the, in the bridge. It had the, um, what are they called? The sweet uh, single coil pickups. Like, uh, I just thought that was going to be the ultimate guitar. I thought, do you know what? I've been looking at so many different guitars. I just want to buy one guitar that's going to be my one guitar. And that seemed to sort of like fit the bill for everything. I thought that was going to be like the be all and end all. Even though it's really expensive, it's like 1800 quid which is pretty much out of my price bracket, but with sort of finance and that, you can you can sort things out, you can deal with it. But um, no, it was like, I tried it in the store, I saw it there and I thought, I've got to try it, I just have to try it. So I tried it and I wasn't that blown away. I wasn't really like outstanding like what I thought I was going to be. So that's when I took the trip over to PMT and I tried this and I tried the um, Ibanez RGD, the one with the rainforest strip up there. Oh my God, the pickups in that thing were absolutely mental and I love that guitar. A bit heavier than this. Um, neck was, it, it felt more chunky in a way. Um, yeah, I don't know, it was just like, I just thought for the bargain price that this was going for, I just had to buy it. So what have we got? Jason Richardson Signature Cutlass. Um, some call this Black Burst or it's the Dark Scarlet Satin. So like Dark Scarlet Burst. It's a custom contoured older body with a bolt on neck. Um, you've got the, the top is highly figured popular burl, which it is, whoa. It is highly figured. Like apparently they're kind of one-offs because not one popular burl figuring top is the same as the other, which is nice. But yeah, we'll we'll look at this in the daylight because this is, I mean, I'm doing this under artificial light at the moment. So I just love the the style of the headstock. It's not too like metal, like mental. Uh, pointy edges and all that 
which I don't mind, but it's just nice to have something like this. I'm having the trim. So you got um, roasted maple neck. See that? And you feel this neck. It is so, so nice. You got the locking tuners. Uh, made in Indonesia. But don't let that fool you because this thing is like a million dollars. You can see the older body on the back. You can see the grain. Uh, like I say, I'm going to do another video of this in the daytime. So we'll get to see it better. That battery compartment, you've got... You've got like a 12 decibel push, push boost. And you've got a push, push for the coil split. So it's got true coil split. Uh, you've got a rosewood fretboard. You've got 24 jumbo frets. I don't think they're stainless steel. But to be fair, that doesn't really matter. I shouldn't have thought that would matter. I don't know what the nut is. Whether it's graph tech or I don't know. It feels it feels alright. There's no sharp edges. The fret will that feels nice. Such a comfortable feel of the neck. And that's what kind of sold it to me. Yeah. Three-way selector in the middle goes to coil split. So you don't have to technically do the push-push. If you're like going, I mean, Jason Richardson plays super, super fast. He's like up and down the fretboard like that. He ain't got time to be like, boom, boom, tapping on buttons. So he's literally like, just knock it into the middle. He's got, he's got single coil. It's mental. This is supposed to be a good bridge as well. But yeah, I'm well happy. Well happy. Let's quickly plug it in. I'll give it a quick tune. Plug it in. What else have I missed? Roasted maple neck, rosewood fretboard. It's got a 16 inch radius. I don't think that really means much. Uh, it is what it is. You either like the feel or you don't. It's just something you've got to um, feel for yourself. Um, da, 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 custom contoured body. Um, this horn is sort of like s supposedly smaller than that of the um, John Patrici models. Uh, dual truss dual action truss rod which you can access there it's quite handy i've never had any of these real features before these are custom jason rick jason richardson pickups so you can only get these pickups in these guitars like the seven string and the six string versions uh they don't exist you can't physically buy them as a off the shelf item um they sound nice i don't think they sounded as nice as that ibanez RG, rgd but that's got the fisherman fluence and wow it's the first time i ever ever tried them for myself they sounded sick I'm telling you um i've never had locking tuners before so these are going to be interesting to see how how they are. Uh, yeah, it's just got his tiny little signature there. So that's the only thing you can say. Oh, it's his guitar, which is nice. That's like the um, Epiphone Joe Bonamassa Les Paul had nothing. No, no Bonamassa other than on the actual case. 
and I like that. I don't want someone's signature all over my guitar. And just a, uh, a two bowl, six saddle, individual, can, oh, uh, individual saddles. So uh, be interested in seeing what that's like. Sick. Nine volt battery. I hope it's got a battery in it. Yeah, it has. So it comes comes with the battery. That just flex. Yeah, that's that's all in there ready to go. I can't imagine like a twelve dB boost would actually uh, drain the battery that much. You probably don't have to um, change it that much. We'll see. Oh, this feels so nice, man. Let's quickly tune up. Let me, um, as always, I whack on a bit of tune up music. What have we got? How do you want? Oh, that do. I don't know if that's audible. It's just something to listen to while I tune this this bad boy up. So yeah, one one tone, one volume. Like I say, push push. Let's see. Let's turn that on. I like this configuration as well of the um, the tuning pegs. Four up top, two down. It is pretty much in tune, to be fair. It's not that far out. Maybe Anderton's do a pre, like going out check or something. I don't know. Is it set up? Actions maybe a little far. Yeah, this is just E standard. Um, The um, base breaker. Basically, because uh, my a my laney has been put away because it's a bit of an eyesore. Apparently, it's not. Uh, yeah, and I can't be bothered to get it back out at the moment. So I've got the. Let's just. 
Put the base breaker on. Jason Richardson is proper, I don't know what what um, music is like, um, whatever genre of metal it is, uh, it's not gent, but it's some kind of metal. played metal on this you would look cool if you played blues on this you would still look cool it's a sick guitar <laughs> Thank you. 
Some riffage. Sorry, playing is a bit sloppy. It's been a long day. I started playing in drop C, I, I quite like that. I've got the Telecaster set up in the drop C. It's my new favourite uh, tuning, I think. But just for ease. I think it's going to have to acclimatise a little bit. It's literally just come out of the box. Yeah, I'm gonna have to um, probably change the strings on this one and give it a couple of days just to settle down. Let me just go with that. Well, do that. Okay, okay. Let's see what we got.
get the lane out and give it a proper test because although the bass breaker is all right it's not the high gain amp and that's turned right down low because of the noise this is a sick guitar you need to get one oh my god the feel the feel in the neck and like i said this is this is going to be a guitar that is gonna stop me searching for guitars because you can do everything on this. Need to try the trim out, but um, wow. Go and grab yourself one. They're sick. This is Marshall Steck. Peace out.